Hi guys, today we are swatching and testing metallic colors. I have a couple, don't use them a lot, I'll be honest, but they're still beautiful and striking. And I am a sucker for shimmer. <laughs> In my personal opinion, metallic watercolors are made for black paper. They just pop right out of that page when you're using black watercolor paper. So that is what we'll be doing. Now, I have a couple of sets of metallic watercolors right here and my black watercolor paper too. So I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Now, let me just show you my metallic colors. They are all Kuretake Gansai Tambi. I have these two sets plus three pans that came with my 36 Gansai Tambi set. So it is these three right here. Now, some of these are actually the same. So I'm just going to pick one of each before we get started, okay? So let's see here. Um, okay, so I would say... So this one, okay, let me turn this around. This one and this one are the same, so I am just going to take one out. Now about these, 90. So 90, no, mm. So this one and this one are the same. I'm going to take this one. And I think that's it. You know, unlike regular watercolors that are usually much darker than their actual color when they're on the pants, these are already beautiful on their own. So shiny. I absolutely love them. And for me, unlike other watercolors, I prefer my metallic watercolors to be opaque, you know, as opaque as I possibly can. Because if not, you're just left with a shimmer, really. But that's just a personal preference, okay? I'm sure you will find plenty other artists out there who disagree. And as for my black watercolor paper, ugh, what can I say? It's just so gorgeous, so special. I definitely recommend you try it out. If you're anything like me, you will get totally inspired by it. <laughs> okay, so as usual, first we swatch and then we paint a little something together. So here is my swatch paper. I have it in black and in white. I'm going to do them both. For the white, I'm not going to be swatching these three because these are a part of the Gansai Tambi set. And I already have them in my swatch cards, my lovely swatch cards right here. And they are these three. Can you see? Lovely, shimmery, but they will look even better on black paper. So yes, I'm going to swatch them on this paper, just not on this one, okay? Now I will say that metallic colors are much, much, much harder to activate than regular ones. So you will probably end up, let me take these off because this is paper. I don't want to get my paper wet. No need for that. So let me just get all of these off the package. Okay, so one thing I would say for metallic colors is they take a lot more water to activate, okay? So we just need to add a lot more water than we usually do and leave them to rest a little bit because once they're activated, they're actually really creamy. They're really nice to work with. Also, you know, your brushes will be much harder to wash and you will probably end up mixing colors that you don't want to mix. Other than that, you know, you can mix them up just like you would irregular ones and you use them pretty much the same way. Okay, let me show you. Let's start our swatching, shall we? Look at that. More water. Not activated enough. I'm still trying to do different values, so you'll see how they go. So this is red on black, and this is the red on white. You know, swatching uh, the metallic colors on both white and black paper is actually a good idea because you will want to see how they react on both papers. Okay, so pink on white, pink on black. And already I think you can see what I mean. You know, the black just makes them pop. Look at that. They're so creamy. They're really lovely. I don't know why I don't use them enough. I think, oh, I think it's because... You know, I don't want to use all of my white paper, so I tend to save it for special occasions. They make really good postcards, you know? So next is our blue. This is kind of an electric blue, so I can't wait to see what it will look like. On white paper, hmm, not that extraordinary. On black paper, though, wow. Look at that. 
Can you see? Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Now our purple on white. Pretty color. A little transparent. And then we go and add it to our black. Yeah. That's the stuff. Okay, now our white, we're just doing the black paper, as I told you, and then we move on to our golds. Ah, gorgeous. Gorgeous paint. So shimmery. I don't think you can see the shimmery. I don't think you can see the shimmer where you're from, but I will show you once it's all dried, and it is truly gorgeous. Nice beautiful gold. Let me see if I can tell you the names of these colors. Yeah, they're kind of... Yeah, I don't think I can because they're all in Japanese. So, no color names, I'm afraid. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. No, there is, there is, there is. Okay, not for the gold though. <laughs> but for these gem colors, you know, the ones we swatched. So, gem red. Gem pink, <laughs> yellow gold, oh, 903, which was, yeah, this one. So yellow gold, gem green, gem blue, gem violet. Shocking, huh? For the golds, yeah, they don't have a name. I'm sure there's a name. It's just not written in here in lettering I can read. Sorry, it's actually part of the gem. So we definitely get to paint it on here. Oh, do you see the difference? Do you see why the black paper is totally needed? Oh, 901. This one is kind of a yellowish. This is more of a white one, I think. But they're definitely really similar. Do you see? This one definitely more yellow. Okay. This one is more orangey, and I love this one. I think it's my favorite, actually. Mm. I can't really see the difference here, which is a shame. Well, actually you can, it's more of an orange. The light doesn't, oh, look at that. You can definitely see it in the white paper, right? Much more orangey. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite one so far. And now we go for the lighter ones. So 904, ooh, pretty too. Kind of platinum, really. Really opaque. Like me. Yeah, this one's pretty too. The platinum one. Even lighter one. Kind of similar to. You see? They're really similar, but one is 904, the other is 905. I would say this one is lighter, this one, yeah. This is a little bit more yellow. So last one on our white swatch card. Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference in white. That's why you should always swatch on both papers, you know? There's always some more information it can give you that you did not have beforehand that can come in real handy. My white swatch card is done. Hope you can see the shimmer. Let me just leave it out to dry. And then we have these two, the ones that came with the big Gansai Tambi set that I'm going to add here. Pretty. I like this one, but this one is kind of an old gold. I like it even better. And I can't get over how creamy they are. They really are a joy to use. And the white paper. I will show you when it's dry, but you know, just so you can get a picture. It's lovely. 
our lovely swatches are done and I'm going to let these dry for a little bit before moving them even more because I don't want the paint to run. And now for our project, you know, I am using the black paper and I added some washi tape to make, you know, these, to make these little squares, you know, this kind of diamond pattern, if you will. So yeah, I'm just going to tape this onto our table because it will start to buckle and then we can begin. Okay guys, this is my pattern. I hope you like it. I just cut the washi tape in half and made these parallel lines until I had all these diamond shapes right here. And now I just need to add color. You know, one color per diamond or maybe I get to mix two colors. Let's see how this goes. Now this is the kind of pattern that I think would probably look a little bit too simple if we made it with regular watercolors, but in black paper and with metallic watercolors, it will look super special. And what else can we do here? Mm, let's see. This one. What shall we do with this one? Green? No. Purple? Yeah, purple. Okay, we can do purple. Sure. You know, I guess I'll just have to get a heat gun eventually because, you know, all this waiting around is really annoying when you're just trying to get to that final look. <laughs> now, let me see. Yeah, our swatches are pretty nice and dry. Really nice shimmer to it. And so are these beauties. Okay, this one definitely needs to dry and I will be right back. Okay, so now that it is all nice and dry-ish, <laughs> let's see if I can remove this tape without ruining the paper or the diamonds. A little bit nervous about that, not gonna lie. And you really want to make this as horizontal as you possibly can, okay? It is the best way to make sure you keep your paper intact. If you do it like this, you may rip the paper like this. 
it can still happen, but you know, the odds are better. Oops, see? Now when you start to repaper, you stop and you start at the other end to see if you will get better luck. Like that. This is gorgeous. Forget about this. <laughs> so, so pretty. Let me show you. Can you see the whole shimmery thing? Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Guys, just look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Can you see the shimmer? So cool, isn't it? Such a simple, easy project you can make with minimum effort and maximum reward. My favorite kind of project. Guys, thank you so much for doing this with me. I hope you had a blast. I know I did. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.